What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Sorry. Oh, Lord. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. Oh. <laughs> that hurt so bad. <laughs> Uh, for all signs, cats through Sag, everybody in between, don't forget don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply that apply, everyone has free will. Only take the, only take the messages that resonate with your rest. Free general clip of reading. I received a channeling in, so I'm going to do it. I was thinking about working on some uh, sign readings today. Um, just seriously. Maybe some just in 96s. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, but I'm going to deliver the channeling and then um uh, we'll see, okay. So the channel message I received was someone is about to um, use their voice, the power of their voice. And I heard write Google reviews on businesses they have um, purveyed. I heard some positive, some negative reviews, um, really standing up for themselves and others. That's what I heard. Really standing up for themselves and others. So congrats to whoever this is for. I am, anybody that knows me knows I'm a huge believer in reviewing businesses and I do mine on Google reviews too I do too I do myself I do my reviews on Google um, I, some people may do them on other platforms but I do mine on Google I heard specifically Google reviews um, so whoever you are Sarah ma'am you you believe in using the power of your voice too I heard some positive some negative reviews it's um, you have already obviously pervaded these businesses business or businesses but you um, believe in putting the truth out there whatever the truth is for you and your situation how that resonates okay um that's beautiful for some of these businesses it's going to make their business go up in a very positive way for some it's going to make it go down the truth shall set you free for some of these businesses it's going to make the businesses go up in a very positive way and for some it's going to make the businesses go down um the truth the truth shall set you free is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. The truth shall set you free. Heck yeah. Just saying, just saying. I'm a huge firm believer in Google reviews. Um, and that's the truth. Um, I remember when I quit Encompass Health Re Rehabilitation Hospital back in 2018, I wrote them a review on uh, the local one. Uh, it's a corporate entity. Google, um, not Google, sorry. Uh, Enco Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital is a Corporate entity. It's a very, very, very large rehabilitation chain. And just real, it is huge. It's a, it's a corporate conglomerate is what it is. But I wrote my review on the Huntsville, Alabama one <laughs> because that's where I was employed. I honestly think that's why me and my family were bullied, targeted, harassed, and gang stalked for about two years. And I'm serious about that. But it was the truth. It was the truth. Um, it was my truth. And those people didn't like it, but it was the truth. Now, have I seen any of those people from Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital since I quit back in 2018? No, not any of them, actually. Let me think. No, not any of them. None of them. None of them, period, point blank. But I'm glad I haven't, you know. Um, but, um, but it was the truth. But my, that particular review... I'll just give you an example of mine because I can only speak on me, not anybody else. But that particular review, my review of Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital as an employee back in 2018 when I wrote the review, the end of 2018, it got over like almost 7,000 views. That one review did. You tell me why. And it wasn't to help me. And that's the truth. Uh, people were talking about it. And that's just the damn truth. But they didn't talk to me about it. They just went and, I mean, people in my community. And that's just the truth. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. True story. But anyway, so one of you guys is about to write Google reviews too and uh, put the positive and the negative out there. It's But it's going, in return, it's going to create a series of chain of events. You writing these reviews, sir, ma'am. You believe in standing up for yourself and others and the truth. And absolutely, because I am the exact same way. 
Um, but whoever you are, sir, ma'am, only you know your story, not anybody else. So only you know if you're going to do this, not anybody else. But whoever you are, it's about, you're about to be a change maker in your universe, whether you know you are or not. Because once you publicly display this on Google, um, it's, you know, everybody that views the Google reviews are going to see it. And Google reviews are very, very, very popular. Very popular. Um, and whoever you are, you're highly intuitive. I think you know this. Um, and I think that's why you're going to do this. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Kudos to you. Um, I'm a guide, a Google guide for anybody who doesn't know. I'm a Google guide, and that's the truth. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Spirit messages you have reflected. I heard get another one. Spirit messages you have reflected. We have acceptance, acceptance and the unexpected. Number 443 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 443, it could be a possible age of a child or yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 4 and 43, acceptance upright, the unexpected upright. Several people are about to do this. It's about to affect your world way more than you seem to think it's going to. The truth shall set you free. Okay, I heard several of you guys are about to do this. I heard several people are about to do this. So I think several of my subscribers or maybe several people in the universe. Maybe it's somebody that comes across my reading. Um, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else, but several people in the universe, whether they're my subscribers or they come across this reading or what have you, what have you, they are about to do this. And I heard whoever you are about to do this, only you know if you're about to do this, not anybody else. I heard it is about to um, affect your world, way, um, your universe and your world way more than you seem to think it's going to. So I think you have accepted the truth. Um, about the situation, whether it was positive or negative in this business aspect, and you're about to publicly write about it on Google Google reviews. The unexpected, um, it's about to unexpectedly affect your universe um, and these businesses' universe um, way more than you seem to think it's going to. I heard it's going to cause businesses to either increase or decrease. But I heard the truth shall set you free. So whoever you are, it's truth. You're not going to lie. You're not You're not a liar. You're not a manipulator. It's the, whoever this is for is the truth. So, and if you go on there putting lies on there, that's never a good thing. Because that's your reputation. If you're going on there publicly displaying lies. Uh, if anybody needs to hear that, that's slander. So I, I wouldn't suggest that. Um, of course, I'm not telling you what to do. You have free will to do whatever you choose to do in the universe. But Google is very, very, very public. The reviews are very, very, very public. Very. So whatever you put on there, it is a good idea to make it truthful. Of course, you can choose to lie if you want to. Okay? But it's about to affect your world and other people's worlds and these businesses' worlds in unexpected ways, ways you didn't think it was going to. I think for some, you didn't think your voice mattered. But I'm here to tell you right now, sir, ma'am, it most certainly matters. It matters. Okay? It matters. It matters, it matters, it matters. Okay? It does, it does. One of these businesses, the rating is about to plummet. It already is not a great rating. 
One of these businesses, the rating is about to plummet. Is It already does not have a great rating. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I didn't hear what business it was. I didn't hear specifically what rating it was. But one business, it already doesn't have a great rating. Okay, so for Google reviews, for anybody who doesn't know, five stars is the best you can go. Five stars. It goes from five stars to four to three to two to one. But it depends on how many people are viewing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? And what they're, you know, how many stars they've given and what have you, what have you. Um, so one of these businesses, and then it could be any business in the universe, it already doesn't have a great rating. So I'm thinking it definitely don't have a five-star rating, I'll tell you that. It definitely doesn't have a five-star. I'm thinking probably a four or three-star rating now, or maybe a two. Oh, God, a two-star, jeez. But, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is, it doesn't have a great rating now. So I'm thinking at least a four-star or below, and the rating's just about to plummet down um, for one of them. And that could be unexpected series of chain of events right there. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. And for one particular business, the rating has not been written yet, but when it is written, it's going to be a wonderful review, a wonderful review of an attorney, very light side, masculine attorney. It's going to be very helpful to many, 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 many people. And his business is about to surge in a huge way. Whoa, so you plug it in. How, well, that's great. So that's unexpected series of chain events too. Okay, so I'm pulling in a masculine attorney, um, whoever this person is. I heard the rating has not been written yet. So the review, I mean, I'm sorry, the review. The review has not been written yet. The rating has not been posted yet. Um, it is a masculine attorney. Whoever this is, I didn't hear a name on this person. Even if I did, I wouldn't put it on here. Um, at least not the whole name. But I didn't hear a name on the attorney. I didn't see a vision of this person. I don't know who it is. Not yet, at least. But um, older attorney. Older attorney. An older masculine attorney. And he can be any race, any ethnicity. Whoever this person is and however he affects your life or is about to affect your life. But apparently he's amazing or he's about to be amazing to one of you guys. So I don't feel this person's gonna leave you at the uh, leave you standing at the um, at the courthouse without reference, representation. I feel he's gonna do everything he says he's gonna do. He's not gonna take your money and run. You know, um, he stands by his word. He does what he says he's gonna do or he's going to do what he says he's gonna do. And it's going to be effective basically, or has been effective however that resonates, but he is an older masculine attorney. Apparently, he's about to affect one of you guys' life in a very, very, very positive way. That's unexpected positive series of chain of events, or he already has. Um, and you are ex about to accept these positive results, or you already have, which that's a positive series of chain of events. There's negative and positive in here, but I'm pulling him in very strong. But anyways, I heard the review has not been written yet, but once it does, once it does get written, so one of you guys in the universe is going to write the Google review on this attorney, this masculine, older masculine attorney, but he's apparently going to really do you right, really do you right, and you want the world to know it via Google reviews. And apparently, I'm feeling you're probably going to leave him a five star is what I'm presuming, because you know, on Google reviews, you can leave one, two, three, four, or five stars. I'm feeling you're probably going to leave him a five or a four star, but only you know the rating you're going to leave this guy if he resonates with you, okay? For some, you could be this older masculine attorney. I'm pulling him in very strong. But however this resonates, um, whether you were the one about to get the Google review written on you, ma older masculine attorney, or you, or you were the one about to write the Google review on this older masculine attorney, he's about to affect somebody's life in a very positive way, or he already has. Uh, so much so, somebody's about to re write a review on him. Uh, I feel one of you guys is about to, or, or somebody you're connected to, how that resonates. But how that resonates, I heard it's going to help others. 
Um, so the review is going, I think it's going to be so detailed or so helpful or so something that it's going to basically bring in a ton of traffic flow to his business. Um, because attorneys have, they have businesses, you know, they're business owners. Um, um, it's going to bring in a ton of people. It sounds like viewers to the review. Um, and it sounds like it's going to be, I feel a five star or I, well, maybe a four, but I'm feeling a five. And I heard he's going to get a crap ton of business. So, sorry, ma'am, if you're the one about to do this, you are about to help your attorney in a huge way. Or you, older masculine attorney, if this is you, you are about to affect a client's life in a very positive way. And they are about to pay it forward to you on Google reviews in a very positive way. However that resonates and applies, I'm going to get a kipper. This is beautiful. I mean, I'm serious. And that's positive, unexpected series of chain events. This is beautimous. Spirit, let's use spirit. I love it. It is about to go very, very, very well for this older masculine attorney and their client. It is about to go very, very, very well for this older masculine attorney and his client. So if you're the client in this situation about to do this, um, you are about to write um, the review. You haven't written it yet, but you're about to. Um, and um, it's about to help them out in a huge way. We have family room with house. Number 20 or 21 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 20 or 21. House with family room, my God. For some, this is a family court situation. For some, this is property law. For some, this is a family court situation. And for some, this is property law. So I heard an older masculine energy attorney. Um, so I'm feeling he's 35, 36 or above. Um, or or maybe well above. I'm not sure, but I strongly feel he's at least 35, 36 or above. Um, how that resonates. But I heard for some of these situations, it's family court situation. For some, it is um, property law. So you plug it in how it resonates. So family, family law, family court. And for some, it is property law. So you plug it in how it resonates. And that would make sense with the house and the family room. I've never gotten these two together ever in a reading ever. And I've been reading two and a half years. Um, house with family room. And that would make sense with the family court because home and the living space, um, a family living in a home and the living space, living room, living area, dwelling space in the home with the family. So family in the home, family law, family court, and then property law, the home, the estate, the will, the um, what have you, what have you. Um, and then the, um, the dwelling, the dwelling space with the um, estate or property or what have you, what have you, with the property law. The dwelling structure, etc., etc., etc. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is beautiful, but it's going to help out these older masculine attorneys and the client. And it's about to drive in business flow to these businesses because of this review or reviews. Um, it's at least two reviews about to be written. They have not be ri been written yet, but they're about to be. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is. Beautiful. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. And someone that is connected to one of these attorneys 
is about to create many negative tower moments for very immature people in their community soon. Scammers. Okay, whoa. So somebody connected to one of these attorneys, heavy attorney energy in here, older masculine attorney energy, um, light side, um, older masculine attorney energy here. Um, uh, either always been light side or light side now, um, how that resonates. But somebody connected to one of these attorneys, whoever these attorneys are and how they resonate for you in your, in your universe, if they do, um, somebody connected to one of these attorneys. So not these attorneys, but somebody connected to them. At least one of them. I heard he's about to create negative tower moments for um, some very immature uh, people in their community soon. Um, whoever these people are. They love to harm people. They love to harm people. And I heard they're scammers. They're scammers and they love to harm people. So... Um, it's not the attorneys about to create the negative series of chain bins, so they're not gonna. Um, I don't think they're gonna use their practice to do do it that way. It's somebody connected to them. Um, whoever this part, I didn't hear specifically what occupation this person is, but it's somebody. Uh, let's see if I hear. I'm not sure. No, I didn't hear. Okay, so it's somebody connected to these people. Whoever it is, a spirit only gives what a spirit only wants to give. So I don't know. Um, somebody, whoever this is. But I feel it's somebody probably um, well-connected. And it's probably somebody high up in their community as well. Because they probably have the resources and the support and the know-how and the knowledge to create these negative series of chain events for these immature scammers and people that like to harm people. So I think they have support and resources and connections. Whoever this person is. I didn't hear specifically who they are. Uh, but they, I think they're positively connected to one of these um, attorneys, lawyers. And um, they're about to create negative series of chain events for some kind of immature scammer energies in their community. And I think these attorneys know these scammer people in their community. And they're about to create negative series of chain events for them. Now, I didn't hear what the negative series of chain events are. I don't know. Let's get a card. Okay, we have marriage, number three, could be a very significant number in one's life, number three, marriage. For one, it's relating to a false marriage. For one, it's relating to law, um, lies about a marriage. For one, it's relating to a false marriage. And for one, it's relating to lies about a marriage. So there's at least two situations over here I'm feeling. Um, false marriage to me is, it's not even real anyways. That's a scam in itself. So a false marriage is a scam. So maybe it's something relating to some kind of, somebody putting somebody in a false marriage, which is AKA a huge ass scam. And then one of them is lies relating to a marriage. So somebody's saying somebody's in a marriage, but they're not. But to me, that's the scammy false marriage too. Because if you put somebody in false marriage, that's a, AKA a scam. And that's just the truth. A huge ass scam. These people are about to ever regret this shit. Ever regret it. A huge ass scam. These people are about to ever regret this shit. Ever regret it. So, um, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I... If you put somebody in a false marriage, it's not even real anyways. That's the biggest scam known to man. Um, I hope they go to jail. Because to me, that is invading somebody's rights, liberties, and freedoms in the biggest way possible. Is by entrapping and imprisoning somebody in a false marriage when they don't even know they're in it. That's taking away somebody's rights, liberties, and freedoms to choose who they want to marry. I mean, we don't live, we live in 2022. We don't live in slavery times. We don't live in arranged marriage times. And that's just the truth. Um, that's terrible. Let me see. Oh. Expectation number 28 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 28. These people are about to not mess around with these people. 
These people are about to not mess around with these people. And they are about to experience uh, legal issues, just not from these people. And they are about to experience legal issues, but not from these people. So these scammers, somebody put somebody in a false marriage. That's the biggest scam known to man. Somebody was saying somebody was married and they're not, which is aka the false marriage, I'm presuming. Biggest scam known to man. But my, um, they are about to experience heavy legal issues, but not from these two. Um, so I think they might get themselves in trouble with the law or, or something else. Um, I don't, it's not relating to these two attorneys. It's something else they're about to do in the universe. I think it's about to create them legal issues. And I don't think it's positive legal issues. I don't think it's going to get a wheel <laughs> and estate planning. <laughs> I don't think it's that. I think it's something negative. Um, whatever the crap it is, I don't know. Let's see if we hear anything else. Okay, I didn't, but I heard they're going to ever regret it. And really, they should regret it because they shouldn't have done what they did. And that's just the truth. Um, I'm serious. That's terrible. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And I hope this helped. And namaste.